What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the channel. Check it out, man. I'm so glad you're tuning in. This is Music Gear Reviews, where we review products from all over, all types of products, everything for your studio. So if you're in the studio and you're recording, we reviewing it to let you know what we think about those products. And here's the cool things. Simmons Drums thought it would be a great idea if they sent us a whole lot of stuff so that we can review and so we're gonna do it. Now, on YouTube, I already started the reviews and I was doing it, you need to go check that out. But I couldn't do it by myself, it was just too much. I, I needed some help, so in today's show, I got two drummers with me to help me review this speaker system and the Simmons drums together. I got Nat Stokes of Black Violin and I got Leo Hunt, a, a junior right here in Jacksonville. And uh, right here, Right now, on this very channel, we get ready to go and check out these Simmons drums and meet these two drummers, and I'm telling you, it's about to go down. So, you ready? Here we go. We out here looking at the cars, letting him pick out the car that he wants to go out in with me today. And he's leaning toward the blue, but I had to come bring him around here and show him the orange. I don't know. Dream come true right here, bro. Uh, we can't take it out, man. It's sold. It's sold, so I can't touch it. I can't take this out. So we're at uh, Audi of Orange Park. This is where I work. And I just happen to work around a lot of exotics. So I wanted to take him out in one of our three or four. We had three Lamborghinis, but we sold them all. So talk to me, man. Man. Yeah. What do you think so far? Yo, you're spoiling me, man. <laughs> you're spoiling me, bro. Uh, you spoiling me, bro. I don't know. Oh no, that, that vet looking kind of nice. The vet. Yeah. What you think? <laughs> Yo. Yo, this interior. Oh, this is crazy. Ain't it crazy, that? Tell me what you think about this car, bro. This, uh, this red, my favorite color is red, so the finish is, it's amazing, man. The, the screen looks, it's big enough and it, it's friendly to Apple CarPlay, all that stuff. It looks really good. It, it's just, yeah, it feels good. To, uh. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, 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 this is it. Now, what we're not going to do is speed and none of that. So listen, y'all watching this, we're not speeding. We're just going to go for a quick ride and then we're going to come on back. Uh, but just so you know, this car is for sale. Yes. 115, I believe it is. Oh, wow. Uh, that's not dollars. That's $115,000. But they are very, very rare. So we are going to be very, very careful. Uh, so, yeah, man. So talk to me, man. You play yeah. with this group uh, called Black Violin. Tell me what that's all about, what that's man, like. And, uh, yeah, Black Violin is a group. They've been around for about 20 years. Uh, they mix classical with hip hop. It's two guys, Will and uh, Kev. Uh, they play vi uh, viola, viola. I'm sorry, viola. and violin, uh, respectively. It's a DJ, DJ SPS. He's a, a turntable world, world renowned champion, and I'm the drummer, the touring drummer for Black Violin. <laughs> Is, if we just be honest, 
you the leader of the group. Just, just <laughs> let's just be honest. Let's just be honest with it. You, you. I know they. I know they get. They get their name and stuff out there. Whatever. But you the leader of the group. Can we just yeah, be honest? Yeah. That's what it is. Hey, yeah. Now they, they, they Y'all see this, right? Y'all, y'all see this. He the leader I'll of the group. It. Not y'all. I know y'all side of the group. But this the leader of the group. And the only reason I say that is because I'm a drummer. Yeah. Oh. And oh. I just feel like know. the yeah. drummer is always in the lead, baby. Yeah. I don't care what we play. Yeah. I feel like we in the lead. You know what I'm saying? So. How's it? How's it? I, I wonder what it's like for them to play with you. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know it must be humbling for them to tour oh, with man, you. And you know, what is what is it like being on the road on tour? It's man? been a pleasure for them to meet me. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, uh, they're they're a great group of guys, man. Uh, very hardworking. Uh, they're actually nominated for a Grammy, but you know, on the road, it's family atmosphere. Everybody gets along, you know, we, we try to give the people the best show we can give them every night, you know, night in and night out. So um, it's very great, great gentlemen. Our, our whole team is like amazing. Our whole team is amazing. That's what's up. You know, I got a chance to see you guys in concert when you came here to Jacksonville. And, you know, I have to say there's only two times that a drummer want to play. <laughs> And when somebody ain't playing, <laughs> or somebody really, really playing, right, right. and you was really, really playing uh, that night. Man. I mean, the guys was playing it, but they was doing yeah. their thing. But <laughs> I told you to leave. So I was like, man, I want to play so bad. But I was also thinking, oh my God, this cat is really good. Uh, <laughs> He's man. really that go good. It's like, yeah. this is crazy, man. No, no, you got skills. But the whole band, man, I got a chance to meet the guys, go on the tour bus and meet everybody. Really, really good group. If you guys don't know this group, man, look them up. Black Violin, man, you, you need to know who these guys are. Really, really good group. Uh, great music, great guys, great characters. So that's cool. So how long have you been with the group? I've been with the group now. I've been with them since October 2014. So about, you know, six going on seven years. Going on seven years. Yeah. Yeah, it's been man. a minute. That's 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 that, that's saying something because you know it's been a minute. Ba sometimes bands flip out. Yeah, you know they change they change. Yeah. So you've been that long, and yeah. you know, and members, you know, sometimes band members be like, I don't want to be do this no more. So for you wanting to stay and them wanting to have yeah. you, yeah. that's what's up. Yeah. That's it's, that shows good chemistry. It's been a blessing for real, man. So what I got you here for is to check out this new product. Uh, that Simmons Drums uh, sent me to review. And so what happened is I'm a drummer, true, but I'm kind of what they call retired and or semi-retired. And- uh, No, you're not. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to hang my sticks up, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to hang them up. You can't never hang them up. You gotta put them up, man. You gotta, you you gotta put them up. Them up. <laughs> so what I, what I said was I needed a drummer to come in. And I actually, we're gonna have a second drummer too. Yeah. A guy named Leo is coming. Y'all will see him in a minute. But I wanted to bring in some guys that are currently playing. You being out on tour, him playing um, all the time with bands and in church or whatever. Nice. I wanted to get two different perspectives yeah. of this product from people that are currently touring or doing whatever. So I'm really interested uh, when we get um, uh, to the venue. I'm really, really interested in your take on the drum, the drum sound, and we'll get really deep into it, but yeah. um, we won't try to get too much into the weeds unless we need to, right, but right, right. I really want to get your feel for the sound. I want you to tell me what you think of these drums. I want you to be brutally honest about everything. It's really not about the drums. It's about the amplifier system um, mm -hmm. that they that they sent out. Uh, we're going to listen. We're going to play on two different speakers. We're going to play on the 8-inch version, and we're going to play on the 12-inch version. Uh, we'll bust out the 10 inch version as a monitor just to give it an idea, just to give you an idea. Yeah. But I really want to get your take on these drums. And here's my, here's the number one question I want to ask you now, and I want to have this in your head uh -huh. uh, when we're out. I want you to think if you were on the road with this drum, I want this drum to, because a lot of times when people think of electric drums, they think practice. Right. Have you ever like used them for practice or have you used any type of electric drum for practice? Yeah. Okay, so you get what I'm saying. Most people don't think about them as far as a road right, type of, yeah. you know, get getting the job done. Yeah. I want you to consider them in that venue. That's the, that's the way I want you to look gotcha, at it. Gotcha. Do you think this is something that if if you took this out on the road with this full setup, the drums and the speaker system, is this something that would work in your area? You know what I'm saying? That's what I want you to really consider. All right, y'all. It's time 
to bring these drummers together. It's time to take it to the next level. Right now, I gotta go get the boys. It's, it's about to go down. I hope you're ready for it. Here we go. So I assembled the drummers. It was magical. It was otherworldly. It was religious. So we went to a church. And then we entered the church. And that's when we saw them. The drums. And those speakers we came to review. We had Leo of Hunt. And Nat of Stokes. And Keith. Of oh, Jesus, did he just buy the chip? Oh my God! Come on, bro. Uh, so, we trying to? Oh, you you just gonna take the drink, aren't you? You just? Oh, this is so disrespectful. Oh my God! Why do we, uh, just? Okay. So it was magic. It was it was the greatest thing you ever. Oh, Jesus, did he just fall down? Come on. Why do I even try? Why do I keep the fuck better? Check it out, we got a little shed in, got it in, got it, got it all yeah, loose. Got, loose got a loose, got a loose, got a loose, loose. got it, got it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so check it out. Um, I want to talk to you guys real quick. You guys are drummers. We didn't switch drums, we just let y'all play just right out. Right now what we're going to do is we're going to get on the electric set. But my question, and I want each of you guys to just kind of chime in and answer this. What do you think of electric sets? In your history, playing electric sets, buzzing, playing the clues, what is your against acoustic what is your thought of an electric set why you like or dislike i mean initially you know you hear about playing an electric set and it's like oh, man you, you prefer the acoustics acoustic setup but um you know from my experience they they've done, they've gotten the job done the electric drums what about you yeah well my experience um i haven't used them much but uh going into the guitar center trying them out you know seeing what you know what i can uh, purchase you know um i've done that before um but i have i have you know i've always been a used to used to acoustic drums you know what i mean um that's all all i've used pretty much all my life so right but electric drums is definitely something that um i think uh, a field that i should step in for sure especially in practice you know and uh, even in even live you know so definitely. but the thing the thing is like so back at home one of my churches i played at they brought in I'm, I'm gonna say the this little brand, this Roland, when Roland first came out with the set, they brought in a legend set. It was gonna revolutionize the sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. then they set it up. I sat down on that Sunday morning. We practiced with it. It mm -hmm. sounded good. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, Sunday morning came. The band actually turned on. You know what I'm saying? Because you know the band don't ever show up to rehearsal. Right. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I heard nothing. It yeah. was gone. And I was like, y'all gotta be crazy. So then they brought a monitor in. And it was just as bad. So my question is, if you have you ever played it in an electric set in that situation? How was it when you played it in your situation? Yeah, it was. Uh, it wasn't the best initially. Uh, we moved. We moved to using ears because uh, I did a lot of complaining. <laughs> using what? <laughs> we moved. We moved to the in ears. Oh, the in ears. Oh, cause so you hear. It. Yeah, so we could hear. But we tried using a monitor, and it was, you know, it. Yeah. Disastrous. Yeah, it was disastrous. Cause you know, on the acoustic setup, you can you can play and you can feel, mm -hmm. but on the electric kit, it's like you have to hear. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so it, it kind of sort of you're a little off balance there. But you know, with the ears, it, it you know the inners have definitely helped. But mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. What about you? Um, it hasn't been the best situations, you know, when it comes to uh, electric drums, but um, I've experienced it just playing in the different feel of it, you know. Um, just playing it by yourself. Playing it by myself. But right? not with a band. Not really a band. But when a really. band, you haven't played it with a band. Right, okay. right. But I've played them just to get a feel, to kind of practice different rudiments, different things like that. And, and, and that's typically what people do when people think of electric drums, they yeah. think of... of rudiments right they think of practice mm -hmm. they don't think of actually playing with them mm -hmm. all right so here's what's up we're going to 
experienced electric drums, all right? They're behind you guys. We set them up. And I'm gonna show you and talk to you about what these drums can actually do. What I wanna do first is just let you play on them like you would normally play. That was just give you an idea of playing on an electric set in your setting. So what Simmons did is this. As you see behind us, we got all of these speakers up. This is not normally what you do. So Simmons is trying to reinvent the drum community or the drum, I don't know what it is, but they're reinventing things. So what I'm gonna tell you about these speakers, I'm gonna tell you about it, and then we're gonna experience a couple of things about them. First of all, uh, the ones behind us are uh, 2000 watt uh, speakers. Uh, max max output 2000 watts so they they get a little loud and one of the problems that you have with acoustic I mean uh, uh, an electric set versus acoustic can't hear it mm -hmm. they get loud in addition to that because of their the way their monitors are they have a 12 inch they have a 10 inch and they have an 8 inch which we have just sitting down here but we have the 10 inch set up as a monitor for you but we we play with it just to see what that works like right. and Eh, it didn't really, it didn't, it, we still ran into the same situation. Mm -hmm. But then we switched to headphones, then we started realizing what we could turn up. And then I explained a little something, something is that you can actually run your Bluetooth headsets, which mm -hmm. means you can put your, yeah. your ear pods that's in. Crazy. Which is crazy. crazy. That's, that's like a game changer. Sure, yeah, definitely. Because yeah. now with the sound canceling, mm -hmm. boom, yeah. now you, you know you're going to hear. No chords, no nothing, man. No chords. As long as they stay put. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <Right. laughs> You get to have fun, get to wild it out, and all of a sudden, boop, boop, boop. Yeah, yeah, you know, all your monitors down the drain, right? <laughs> game over. <laughs> game over. Game over. Game over. Game over. <laughs> what happened to Leo? No, but go. Oh, yeah. He go. He can't hear nothing. But, <laughs> but the thing oh, is, man. if you can put a Bluetooth headset on yeah. and lock in and, yeah, and crank yeah. your volume up, yeah. you can do it. And the nice thing about that is that you can run the track through your headphone. Mm -hmm. You can actually run your click track through your phone mm -hmm. and connect your phone via Bluetooth to your, your ear and then run the sound through the speaker and have that's all of that going on at the same time just crazy. so that you wow. can hear that crazy. track. That's crazy. Wow. And that's something that's never been done. I've never seen that Either, man. <laughs> on, on a monitor. So yeah, yeah. what we're going to do real quick is let these guys actually try some of this out. We're going to record it um, and we're going to let you guys hear the drum. Now this is in an open setting in the church. There's no, no band in here today. We're just playing it like this. Maybe we have to get back together and get a band in here and try it out with a, yeah, with a full yeah, band and sure. see what it ride like. Yeah. Sure, but we want to put the speakers to the test. Did Simmons create something that's actually game changing? Is it gimmick or is it game changing? <laughs>
right, right. Tell right. me what you think of just the drums playing on an electric set. After, now with the speakers. Now with the speakers uh, playing on these drums, it was pretty. It was pretty good. It felt. It felt pretty good. Uh, there are a, a couple, like just a couple feel feel things that you know. Hopefully, they might be able to work out in the future. Like uh, you know, sometimes with you hitting the hi hat, it's not. It's not. I guess the latency or whatever. It's not coming all the way through. It's not picking up everything. Yeah, it's not picking up every every hit, but you know, but them, I'm sure they can they can make advances with that. And uh, I don't know if we tried to get like the bell on the the ride. On the ride, yeah. Yeah, but you know, we could we could figure that out. But um, me personally, I wish all the drums were just a little bit harder. But I know they gotta make like it, the size of the snare. Yeah, the size of the snare. Yeah. That's what I said. Same thing. Yeah. But uh, other than that, man. Uh, the 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 action that I was getting from it with the ghosting and everything it felt great. Cool, it cool. Felt great. Now, what do you think of the speakers themselves, the way they sound, and what they can actually do with the thing? What do you think about it? Man, the way the way these speakers the way these speakers work, and then having them Bluetooth with headphones. <laughs> y'all, the companies, y'all might be in some trouble because that. <laughs> That's like it is revolutionary, man, and it, um, you you can be you can basically play from anywhere, you know. Uh, I'm trying to think of how it might it might be, you know, a great situation as far as being on the road too, using using these speakers along with the you know Bluetooth headphones or whatever, because you know with the speakers shooting out there, like even they could provide a palette of sound for you, you know, with your headphones on when you're on the kit. So, you know, and as drummers, we love, we love our sound. So, you know, I think that, you know, this is definitely a, it's definitely a plus. So let me, let me, let me tell you something that we didn't do, but I'm just gonna tell you what you can do. So you mentioned Bluetooth. Yeah. You can actually play these, even with the speakers plugged up, there's a selector on them where you can go headphone only and the sound won't come out. The speakers are the only playing your headphone. I mean, you just gonna keep adding points. Or... <laughs> so I mean, that's yeah. That's... There's a, there's another feature as well. Yeah. So you can add have your track play uh, like a click track play yeah. only in the headphone. Only in the headphone. And then have the drums come out by themselves. So to no one, all they hear is you. All they hear is yeah. Right. That's or you could do it the way we just did it, where the, everything yeah. comes through. But you could do it either way. I would love to have. <laughs> A situation with these monitors like this where I can I can control them and still feel feel good about the music that I'm playing. My man Leo, you play primarily in church and you had said when we interviewed earlier that when you think of electric drums, you think of them more about practice. Yes. Yeah. You don't think of them as something that you could use in a live setting or anything like right, that. Right, right. Now and we understood it's all about sound. So now Simmons has created these speakers and you got a chance to play with the headphones, play it, see what they can do with the Bluetooth and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. What do you now think about these drums in a live session? I think that, um, I think it would go very well. And the reason I say that is because the way the, the padding feels on the drums, um, the way, uh, the way it feels so realistic in a sense, um, and even the sound that comes out. Um, in a live setting, you know, you have different genres or different situations where you can actually change the sound um, with these drums and literally pay, play whatever genre that, that you're, you know, in the setting that you're in. I think they're overall pretty good. Um, kind of like, um, like he was saying, the latency a little bit on the, on the hi-hat, but everything else felt pretty good. And I would, I would use these live. I would definitely use them. That's what's up. So what we're going to do is we're gonna turn, now what we did before we had the speakers facing out is mm -hmm. if this was the sound going into the house. Right. Basically to make them a, compete with an acoustic set. And so we had the headphones on. Mm -hmm. But in a situation, let's say there's a church situation, then what we would actually do is, I would suggest aiming them toward the drummer. Right. Control your sound toward you. Right. Let the house take over the sound for the house and right. mix the, all of the band in. Because right, right, you got electric keys, you got electric guitar, you got electric bass. Yeah. They're all coming through and they got their own amps up there, but the house is with control. Right. So I want to see you guys play in that setting now yeah, yeah, and see yeah. what we come up with. Okay. See how what you think. All right? Okay. Here we go.
So we turn the drums, the speaker around, and face you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. What happened when you turned it around? Did it change everything? It did. Yeah. So. Those drums were definitely, uh, yeah. You can take them on the road. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can use that in church. Oh, for sure. Yes, sir. <laughs> definitely. So if you had to give it a thumbs up, how many would you put up? <laughs> if I had four. Look, I need some more. Right. I need some more. <laughs> All right, y'all, thank you so much for watching the show. Listen, real quick, if you haven't done it already, man, go check us out on YouTube. Just type my name in, Keith and Powell. I'm telling you, you'll find it. Look us up on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and check it out. If you want to see the full interview or the full sessions of these guys playing, make sure you go to our website. My website is keithandpowell.com. Go check us out over there. You can catch the full interview, see everything that was that was cut, because we had to cut a lot out to make it fit the show. But you can go there and catch it right there at KeithRampile.com. All right, right here. You can see it on the screen. Go right there. So, yeah, man, I appreciate you so much for tuning in. And I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.